Hi, Marty. Congratulations on your induction into the Quilters Hall of Fame. Every year, I really enjoy visiting with you and your husband at Schoolhouse, Houston. Thank you for sharing your log cabin ruler with me. See you next year. The center square on the 12 inch block is two and a half inches square. So straighten the left edge and then just move your ruler over and cut two and a half inch strips. Now the strips for the logs are one and three fourths inches for the 12 inch blocks. So do the same thing, straighten your edge and cut one and three fourth inch strips. This is what the block looks like. So get your center square ready. We're gonna use the all new log cabin ruler. There's both measurements for six inch and 12 inch. So find the tw two and a half inch line for your center. And you can see all of the lines are marked along there. One half is the 12 and the other half is the six easy to use. So trim the salvage edge, move, just slide your ruler along and cut two and a half inch squares. You might as well cut all of your center squares that you need right now, one for each block. And then take your strips for your background. Your B1 is first. Turn your ruler around, look for B1, trim that salvage edge, and then slide it in place so you cut all of the pieces for B1. This is just an easy assembly line way. And then once you finish B1, stack them up, make them neat and tidy, and slide the ruler to B2. Keep on stacking, cutting and stacking. That's all you do. And then once you're done, check it out. There's the light and the dark. This is your paste up. Be sure and paste in swatches so you know what your block looks like. Just lay out B1, background one, and center square. And before you start, clean your machine. Just take off that fur throat plate, clean out all that dust. Don't be like me. Look what I found in my machine. So take your B1, background one, flip it right sides together to your center. Use a quarter inch seam, 15 stitches to the inch, and just pedal. Just push it right through there, one after the other. Get the first one right, you'll get them all right. Then once they're all sewn in a chain, get your cutting gizmo, cut them apart, and press your seam over. Now you could use this seam presser, you could use a wooden iron, use your fingers, but don't iron right now. That distorts your blocks. Okay, turn the stack over, get B2 or background two. Your block is wrong side up, your strip is right side up. Slip that block over, line up those edges, and they should be exactly the same measurement. Because if they're not, your seam allowance isn't quite right. Assembly line sew, so all of those B2s right down along there, same thing, cutting gizmo, cut them apart, and press that seam open. That's a wooden iron, that works good too. Check the measurement. Is it three and three fourths? You wanna make sure right now, so you have that correct seam allowance, everything will fit just perfectly. Okay, this is D1, dark one. Lay the strip right side up, the blocks are wrong side up. Just slide that block over, cut them apart. We are on the move, we are hot. Look at that go. You go, girl. Okay, turn them over. Get your strip right side up, block wrong side up, just slide it over and go. So you just continue adding each one of your strips until you've added four rounds. You've got four lights and four darks and the blocks are gonna lay perfectly flat from the center out, beautiful.